This group of scholars came with a very sincere commitment to re-engaging with the natural world. My seminar asked students to think about the ways in which ecosystems, biodiversity, life on Earth sustains life in the city, meaning design that is connecting us to nature in the city. As designers, we have the ability to really help shape a much greener future. We asked the scholars to develop more than human design models, models for co-creating a world together with other species. The theme of thinking about designing a multi-species world is really, really important. If you study these species, you can build for them as, as if you'd built for uh, human beings. So we divided the students into three teams and we assigned them to three different sites which would ground their research. We encountered Parque del Retiro, which is an important landmark in Madrid. And looking at the way in which insects actually interact with the environment and looking at ways to protect them. Trying to integrate a system which is more ecological and human. I think that in particular the mentors were really inspiring. We've had so many different professors and um, people who are practicing and actually dealing with these topics. Well, we need to find a new friendship with nature, no? We, for a long time, we've just uh, been against the nature. It's important to understand how much we as people take from the biosphere and how much the biosphere can regenerate. I really, really, really enjoyed listening to everyone that are very professional in that practice. One would hope that though all of the wonderful talks that have been given uh, has influenced the way they've seen things. The students, they worked in teams both on the computer, outdoors, and upstairs. The project we worked on was about creating a bio-waste management plan for Madrid. So we see it rather as a resource, um, not a waste. We can actually use the city space to test and demonstrate and pilot new climate-related innovation. We proposed a series of interventions along the river that would make it a more wild space for, um, that would be more welcoming for a range of different species. Our project was really uh, about using the stag beetle as an impetus to create more uh, biomass in the forest. Thinking about nature not as something that's only service oriented, but also a value in and of itself and looking at ways in which we can look at waste, composting, and how we mitigate against issues around um, environmental changes that are happening. It's difficult to imagine that you can find so innovative people in just a week. Seeing that you give the people the right conditions, the right environment, the right context, and that they will produce great things. So the programming for this workshop has been really incredible outside of the lectures and the workshop building that we're doing to develop our projects. It's been incredible to engage in many activities uh, throughout Madrid. It's been an incredible week of uh, learning from others and taking a lot in from other people who are a lot smarter than I am. All three interventions that were the outcome of the seminar and the workshop really showed a way that we can live closer connected to nature in the city, not without architecture, but with a new kind of re-urban architecture. I felt like this workshop really changed the whole narrative and made us, challenged us to start in a different place and I so appreciated that. My recommendation to the younger generation is act now, believe in yourself. You can't stop imagining. My advice is to maintain hope they should really choose a path they believe in and go directly after it.